you are tired of not having enough time, if you want to gain your life back, if you want to gain 16 additional hours a week, start utilizing the Pomodoro Technique. Do you want to get more done, to hold yourself more accountable and to be way more productive? Is that you? Well, guess what? The answer I know you're probably saying is yes, because if you survey 100 Americans, they're all going to say the same thing <laughs> or anybody in the world, right? They all want to have more time and to get more done, to be more efficient and to be more productive. This I found out about four years ago, maybe even longer, because I was trying to find a way to make sure that my company could be as productive as possible. So I started researching how to help people be more productive. And there was a study that was done called the Pomodoro Technique. It's a, te it's a technique called the Pomodoro Technique. And what it is, is it's a way to help you get more done. Now, here's the thing about the Pomodoro Technique, that it's different and it's probably gonna be a little difficult to get used to doing because our brains are so distracted. In fact, we get have so many distractions and research shows that the more that we get distracted, the more distracted, the more easily distracted that we are, the more we try to multitask, the harder it is to stay on task. There's actual research about this. So you're gonna find if you utilize the Pomodoro technique and stick to it, that you are going to be so much more productive, get so much more done, and you're gonna feel way less stressed because of the fact that you're getting so much more done. What the Pomodoro technique is, is a way for you to set a timer for 25 minutes and i have a square cube that i use it's a red square cube it's actually upstairs in my in my um, other office and it's a red, red square cube and it's got a little 25 minute timer on it that you don't see the timer i like the fact that you don't see the timer because um sometimes if you're looking at the timer that's distracting right so if you've got a stopwatch and you can see the stopwatch moving it might it might be hard for you so you're going to set the set the Pomodoro uh, timer for 25 minutes. And you're gonna choose one task, just one task. And you're only gonna work on that one task and that is it. For example, if you say, I'm gonna check emails right now. And the idea is you just check the emails, okay? And if the phone rings, you you don't answer it. If somebody says, hey, I'd like to talk to you, say, hey, I, I will talk to you in a bit. Anything that happens during that 25 minutes, you don't do anything but the task at hand. If an idea comes to your head or something you think about, you write it down and then you go back to that task, okay? Um, so if you've got a great idea, or you remember something and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't forget about this, write it down, go back to the task. And then what's gonna happen is when the timer goes off, you're then gonna walk around, get up, stretch, check your phone, answer email, you know, answer a text message, call somebody back really quickly for three to five minutes, and then you're gonna start over and you're gonna choose another task and set the timer for 25 minutes. Once you've done four of those, that is considered a full Pomodoro, that's one Pomodoro, and then you take a 15 minute break, okay? Now you're gonna say, well, Krista, do I have to take the three to five minute break? Yes. Do I have to take the 15 minute break? Well, all this research and studies were, was done around the Pomodoro technique and people that actually followed this technique and this practice in this manner were way more productive, got way more done and, and held themselves accountable more. So if you're having problems with productivity and getting things done, then this is what you want to do. You want to do this. Okay. So here's some tips on how to use it. Write down distracting thoughts. Okay. Don't act on them. Just write things down if they come up and use an actual timer. Use a timer that you can't see the timer clicking because if you look up and see the timer, oh, I got 20 minutes left, that's distracting. Use, try to use a timer that you can't see. We have these little square cubes and square blocks um, that we utilize and we love them because you can't see it. And when the students do them, they love them. Now let's think about things that are just distractions that can get in your way. Phone calls, Facebook, text messages, pinging, ponging, dinging, donging, all of that stuff emails, like close it down, right? All of those, all those things are distractions to you. Okay. So you're going to be shocked to see how much you can accomplish in a 25 minute increment and make something like checking emails, a 25 minute task. And again, write down any distracting thoughts that you have that take you away from what you're wanting to do, but just don't, don't do them. Turn off phone notifications. Here's ways to be able to help you be more successful. Turn off phone notifications. 
be laser focused on that one task. And this is going to help you pay attention to small chunks of time. You're going to see just how much you can actually get done by paying attention to small chunks of time. Also more tips, schedule when you handle distractions. We all know things come up, distractions happen, right? Put it in your schedule. When can I handle distractions? When can I handle, you know, my kids having meltdowns, whatever it might be. Um, let your clients and staff know when you're available and set boundaries. Let them know, hey, I'm doing a 25 minute Pomodoro. Do you see this red sign up there? That means wait 25 minutes, wait until it's done. Jot ideas that come to mind, you can address them later. And you can also listen to audiobooks when you have spare time when you have spare time. You're gonna be amazed to see what you can get done in a single hour just by staying laser focused and not letting a zillion distractions pull you away. I'll tell you what, I hear this all the time. I don't get enough done, Krista. I, I, I'm not productive enough. The Pomodoro technique, I tell you, it's been, it shows it'll give you back 16 additional hours a week. 16 hours a week just by utilizing the Pomodoro technique. That right there, is the amount of time that you need to go through this program. Six, you, know, you don't even need that, 10 hours, right? So if you can utilize the Pomodoro technique, remember tw a 25 minute increment, set your timer, be laser focused on one thing, don't let anything else distract you. If some distraction comes up, write it down. Do four 25 minute increments with a three to five minute break in between each of them. After you've done four, that's considered one complete Pomodoro. Then take a 15 minute break. Go stretch, right? Answer phone calls, do your thing. Make answering phone calls or emails a part of the 25 minutes. That's a Pomodoro. That's that's one 25 minute break, all right? It's hard to change our behavior. Old habits die very, very hard. It's hard to, to be different. It's hard to, to change from doing things. But if you are tired of not having enough time, if you want to gain your life back, if you want to gain 16 additional hours a week, start utilizing the Pomodoro technique. Take it serious. You'll be amazed at how much you can get done. I'll tell you a story. My students, they, um, we always will we'll meet and we'll do our marketing brochures together or, or our about me brochures, anything to help them with their business. And we'll do it together. And they're like, oh my gosh, I got that done in two hours. And I've been stressing about it for six months. And I just did it in two hours. Yeah, because you're laser focused on one thing. You're not letting anything else get in the way, right? That's the power behind this. And this is so powerful. It's powerful enough that I make my company utilize this strategy. And that's why we're so productive. People are always like, Krista, how do you get so much done? Because I utilize the Pomodoro technique. I practice what I preach. I don't do it all the time but I do it a lot of the time. And when I sit there and just become laser focused, I don't answer my phone and I don't answer emails. I don't let my staff bother me. I don't answer Voxers. And I don't look at my text messages or scroll Facebook. It's amazing how much I can get done at any one given time. And so can you. Now it's your turn. Start utilizing the Pomodoro technique. And now you know why the time study was broken in 25 minute increments, because we're having you utilize the Pomodoro technique. And that's where there's a five minute break in between that. Make sense? Okay. Everything builds upon itself. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.